what's wrong with my hair right now. Just, just don't. <laughs> what's up guys, it's Kimberly, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video, and I am going to be doing three DIY wall decorations. If you have a plain wall, these will help spice up your wall spontaneously. I all came up with them in my own, and I did not take any inspiration from anyone. This is all mine. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below telling me how what you liked best about this video. And that's about it. See you guys very soon. The first DIY we have is this DIY chevron and tumbler wall art. It is so cute. I really love this. I'm just beginning with a white foam board and getting some duct tape and scissors also. Now I'm just cutting off some strips of duct tape and then once I've got a lot of pieces I'm cutting those long pieces in half to make smaller ones. Also what I did was I ripped the pieces off the carpet to get a lot of the stickiness off of it so when you put it on the board it won't rip it or anything. Now I'm just cutting each strip in half to make smaller pieces like I said before. Now all I am doing is making a chevron pattern using the duct tape. The duct tape is going to leave some of the board white and then you're going to be painting the rest. So just go ahead and make a chevron pattern with your duct tape. It does not have to look perfect. Mine certainly did not and it still ended up turning out really good. Then I am just painting my board with pink. I like to do bright colors because I don't know, I like bright colors. And I'm just dabbing on the paint with a sponge. After I finish painting the board and let it dry, I'm going back in actually with a second coat to make the colors more opaque and matte. Once the paint has dried halfway, you don't want it to dry completely or have it still wet, a lot of the paint will get ripped off. I am just ripping off my strips of duct tape and it will reveal a straight white line. Of course, you can just leave it like this if you want or continue like me. I'm just going on my phone and searching up tribal patterns to use as inspiration to draw on my board. Now taking a fine point sharpie, I am just drawing some patterns that I thought were kind of cute and just filling in the white areas with the sharpie and drawing some cute patterns. And now you're all done. Really easy, kind of time consuming, but really cute. The second DIY we have is this Hope Art. It is so cute. I definitely love this one. It is so inspirational. You guys definitely should try this out. I'm just starting off with two colors of acrylic paint. And I am using lavender and turquoise. Beginning with my first color, I am just dabbing that on my other half of the board that I haven't used yet with a sponge and then also doing that with the blue and basically just ombre it out. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to ombre. If you don't know how to ombre, just search it up. Really simple. I didn't record this part, but what I went ahead and did was I sketched out hope and said hold on paint ends in pencil. And lastly, I'm just going in with some black paint and outlining, or going over pencil, <laughs> what am I saying, outlining. And that's really about it. It is so simple and so easy and it turns out so cute. I love this one. DIY is so 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 cute. It is this DIY glitter crayon art. So all you're gonna need is I am taking like a shoe box top or like a monopoly box or whatever and just spray painted that box white. 
And now I'm taking some neon crayons. I'm using pink and turquoise. I don't know why, I just really love both of those colors. I've used those colors a lot so far. And I'm just peeling off the paper and then melting them onto my board with a hair dryer. Pretty sure you guys, sure you guys all know how to make crayon art. So it's basically the same thing, except you're not doing it in like a straight line. You're just going basically however with both colors. And it's really that simple. While the crayons are actually drying, I went ahead and applied my glitter to make them stick. I did not use any glue or anything. And that's about it. You're all done. It is so fast and so simple to do. I really love this. Guys, again, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And that's about it. Love you guys. Bye-bye.